What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So if that intro to the video alarmed you, then you definitely need Bitcoin. Right now what's on screen is actually 27 billion of the Fed's 2020 daily average dump of printed cash. And this is absolutely crazy guys. The amount of cash which is actually being printed, well not even necessarily printed, just simply puffed into creation is absolutely ridiculous. And this is exactly why we need Bitcoin. So guys, coming up in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how we could be having a Bitcoin dump down to this exact level in the next few days before we do actually see Bitcoin breach this 10k level. So I'm going to be doing some really interesting Bitcoin price analysis. We're also going to be taking a look at Bank of America's new stance on cryptocurrencies. And finally, we're taking a look at Zimbabwe blocking all mobile money payments as the currency collapses. And then finally, the last time we saw this amount of Bitcoin that had not moved in over a year was early 2016 before Bitcoin hit $20,000. So a great bit of content coming up in today's video. Without any further ado, sit back, relax and get ready for the video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you very much for watching my content again. And I really do appreciate all the likes that you give my videos. It definitely helps out the channel. So if you do enjoy my content, definitely drop a like on this video. And don't forget to subscribe and tick that notification bell so you get notified when I post my next video. And as always, guys, drop your comments down below right now if you want to enter to win the Legend Nano S storage device or the equivalent in Bitcoin. So guys, without any further ado, let's jump into the charts. Let's take a look at what is going on with the Bitcoin price. So in my opinion, um, we've pretty much been trading between two levels here, around this 10K level and around this 8.5, 8.6K level. The Bitcoin price since around about the end of April uh, has been pretty boring, to be honest. It's just been really going sideways, nothing really too interesting, to be honest. We've been testing 10K, breaking it, coming back down, testing 10K, coming back down testing around 9.5, 9.6K, coming back down. And overall, the level that we usually come back down to based on this chart here is about this 8.6K level. So as the title of the video says, a potential Bitcoin dump, this could actually be down, go down to this 8.6K level. If we did see the Bitcoin price come down to this 8.6K level, honestly, it wouldn't be anything out of the ordinary. Personally, I am actually thinking about maybe setting some uh, Bitcoin buy orders down here at this 8.6K level, maybe a little bit below, uh, just in case, maybe 8.2. That's me personally. Of course, always do your own research before you do, in fact, enter any trade um, as it can be risky. However, it could be an okay strategy to do something like that, in my opinion. Um, looking at Bitcoin, though, we are in somewhat of a symmetrical triangle, though. Um, if we take a look here, we're having higher lows, which is very interesting right here. Uh, right here, right here, we're having higher lows pretty much, and we are in fact having lower highs, which is also very interesting. Now, usually with a symmetrical triangle, we will actually break out to the upside, um, which is very nice to see. However, Bitcoin still hasn't come down far enough yet to test this 8.6k level down here again, which could be a high chance that we are actually doing something like that. So let's go over to the four hour chart now and take a look. So now we're on the four hour chart, guys, we can see Bitcoin has maybe put itself into somewhat of an ascending channel here, which could be very, very interesting. Now, this ascending channel could take us all the way up to the top level of this symmetrical triangle, which would be very interesting. In the past, when we reached this top level of the ascending triangle, we did, in fact, see a rejection. So either we may see a rejection up here around about 9.4, 9.5K um, around here, and we could go down to these levels, or we could simply break through it, which would be very, very nice to see indeed. Personally, I do think there is a slightly bit more of a downside to come to Bitcoin. This 8.6K level down here, there is a lot of volume in that region when Bitcoin does hit that price level. So honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the market being pushed down to that 8.6, 8.7K, something in that region before we do actually go on and test this 10K level again. I don't disbelieve that we will see Bitcoin above 10K again this year. I think that's going to be fairly easy for that to in fact happen. And once we do test this 10K level again, hopefully we have the volume and the force to in fact blow past it and blow past this 10.5K level right here, right here, which is very, very important as well. So that's pretty much that for the Bitcoin price. I mean, guys, there's nothing really crazy going on. As long as we're in between these uh, two red lines, these ranges, 
Um, there honestly is nothing too crazy going on because Bitcoin is just going to bounce in between them like so. So there's nothing really that interesting, unfortunately. If you guys were interested, though, in trading the Bitcoin price, definitely check out Femex, which is linked down below. Joining Femex with my link, you can get a $120 bonus for a 0.2 Bitcoin deposit, which is actually really, really good. Femex also has sub accounts, so you can trade long on one account, trade short on the other account, or trade 5x on one, trade 10x on the other account. So it's really, really easy and useful to do. They also have spot trading now with zero fees if you're a premium member. So overall, Femex is a very nice platform to have in your arsenal when it comes to trading. All my links for that will be down below. So let's take a look at this now, guys. Bank of America. This is actually from Reddit, our cryptocurrency, and it's a, a letter that someone screenshotted uh, and, and actually posted. We can see here Bank of America, we're changing some terms of your credit card agreement. Enclosed is an amendment to your credit card agreement. The changes are outlined below. Please, please read the enclosed documents for details. Types of transactions. The section titled Types of Transactions has been revised to clarify that cryptocurrency is considered a cash equivalent and treated as a cash advance. This is absolutely ridiculous news, guys, for two reasons. Reason number one. First of all, if you're doing, if you're getting a cash advance from your credit card, most likely, or not most likely, 99.9% .9 chance, the fees are going to be a lot higher. So A, this is a way for Bank of America and potentially other banks to actually extract more fees from you if you are purchasing crypto on your credit card. But scenario number two is, okay, they are charging higher rates, yes, but they are in fact allowing you to purchase Bitcoin and cryptocurrency using your credit card. Let me know down below in the comments right now, guys. I'll also enter you to in this Legend Nano S. What do you think of this? Do you think, number one, it's a ridiculous that they're treating a purchase of a cryptocurrency as a cash advance? Or do you think, number two, that it's good for adoption and the banks are actually allowing this and this could overall be good, even if they are taking larger fees? Definitely let me know down below in the comments. I'd be very interested to see what you guys are thinking about that. So moving on to the next article now, it's actually going crazy over in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe blocks all mobile mobile money payments as the currency collapses. Millions of Zimb Zimbabweans rely on digital payments in the abscess of hard cash, but government says they're sabotage, sabotaging the economy. So the government is basically saying that these digital payments is sabotaging the economy. Um, it goes on to say Zimbabwe's government has suspended all mobile money payments, including operations by dominant provider EcoCash, on Friday. The stock exchange was also ordered to stop trading in a dramatic escalation of the nation's currency crisis. The government claims it's uh, to avert a conspiracy to sabotage the collapsing Zimbabwe dollar, but millions of Zimbabweans rely on digital payments. Uh, payment operator because obtaining physical cash is so difficult. Eco cash is also commonly used to buy Bitcoin. If you think about it, a lot of the villages and stuff in Zimbabwe, they're not going to just have uh, ATMs there. So it's going to be very difficult for these people to actually go and get cash out. Um, so using a digital cash is actually very, very convenient and easy. African crypto news outlet um, claims the demand for Bitcoin has skyrocketed in the wake of the suspension. Its sources claim that the crypto is selling at 18% above the market rate. Always take this with a grain of salt because it could have just peaked up at 18% and now it's like 5% above. So just take, take, take this with a, a grain of salt. When the whole um, thing was happening over in the Middle East, people were saying, oh, Bitcoin's trading at 200% higher or 100% higher or it's $30,000 over there. This, is, this really has to be taken with a grain of salt though. This is the fifth time Zimbabwe's history, um, in its history, that the national currency has collapsed. This is ridiculous. Meanwhile, inflation has over, risen over 750% and the local stock market has surged as investors have sought, sought after safe havens. Many Zimbabweans have turned to digital payments and 2019 mobile wallets accounted for 85% of all transaction volumes and 226 of value according to the country's central bank. So it's going crazy over in Zimbabwe, unfortunately, after the government is trying to block um, the digital payment systems. This can only mean good things for Bitcoin, hopefully. Finally, moving on to the last bit of information here from Glassnode, Bitcoin's active supply over the last year um, the last time we saw this amount of Bitcoin that had not moved in over a year was early 2016, preceding B BTC's bull run to $20,000. We can see right here, the percent active supply right here was peaking up here. 
and then in fact we saw the massive bull run to Bitcoin up to 20,000. Again, we're seeing a nice peak and we're already at $10,000, give or take nine, $10,000. When we started here, back here, we were very, very low in price, under $1,000. So we could potentially be seeing a massive increase in the Bitcoin price in the next coming years, which I don't doubt we will break this 20K in the next year or two. I'm almost certain we will, uh, and I cannot wait for it, and I'm sure you guys can't as well. So that is pretty much it for today's video, guys. Again, I think we could have somewhat of a dump in the Bitcoin price before we do, in fact, break this 10K level again, maybe next month. So definitely keep an eye out for that on the charts. Thanks for watching today's video, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.